What up, what up, what up? Back on YouTube again. Sorry it's been a while, I've been really, really busy. Uh, so today I'm gonna try something a little bit different. I hope it works the way I want it to. Uh, I apologize if it doesn't work the way I want it to, but I'm really gonna try. I'm gonna try to shoot a video today of how me and my wife on tarp loads. Uh, we have a very, as you can see in the background here, we got a very short load. Uh, we got here kind of late in the day. Let's see if we can go down tarp uh, when we get here. I figured it'd probably be easier to do it now when no one's really going to be bothering us. So I hope it works. Um, I'm going to try to do as fast as I can. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoy. So let's see if this is going to work or not. Let me try to set the phone up here. And uh, hopefully you can see okay. I apologize, like I said, if it don't work. But we'll try. So let's see what we can do.
All right, YouTube, so I'm gonna try something else too. Figured I'd give you a, kind of a, a clue of how, if I can switch the camera around here, maybe I can. I'm gonna try to find a way to, I'm gonna try to set up where uh, I'm gonna show how, how we, uh, how we fill our tarps here. I'm gonna get my wife to, or I can't hold the phone in and do it, but I'm gonna try to set up where you can kind of see how we roll our tarps. But basically, just what we're hauling is, uh, I can't get my camera to turn around, so I'm gonna do it this way. Uh, it's basically uh, some kind of uh, auto, it's just aluminum poles of some sort. I had five stops all together. I wasn't able to record the other ones. It was just a rush getting out, in and out. Uh, so this one's kind of slow, so I was able to record it. Uh, this is this company we haul for, it's called Sapa. Uh, Sapa, I'm sorry, the driver going by, called Sapa out PA. Uh, they have different companies, but whip it out of Pennsylvania. Uh, they made you put the plastic first and then your tarps. Uh, and it, the stuff just cannot get wet. I mean, they're really, really anal about it. I mean, they, they make a big deal about it. But I'm going to try to set my phone up here and maybe you can get a good view of, of us folding my tarps here, maybe. I don't know. Let's see what we can do here. Can you, you can't see. Let's try something else. I don't think it's gonna work, you two. I just don't think it's gonna work. All right, YouTube. So we're gonna show. I'm gonna. Me and my wife's gonna show you how we fold our tarps and how we do it. It's my wife over there. Uh, so basically, we're gonna grab. A, this is our steel tarps here. Our smart one of our tarps here. We're gonna bring it to the middle on the first fold, so it looks like that. And then that's how I got my wife grabbing it. We're gonna grab this corner. We're gonna bring it in. And then you look like that. And basically repeat the same process on this side. Uh, same process is bring it to the middle. Grab the end. Bring it to the middle. And then you're looking like this now. And then basically all you're going to do is take this side or either side you want. And put it on top and make one roll. And then you then you go and you go and start rolling it. So now we look like this. So you go from a, a tight end. What my wife is doing now is she's walking through and she's getting the air out. So when it's time for me to roll it, it's easier. So it's not as, um, you don't get the air out. It, it just is an ugly roll. It just, just doesn't look good. And I'm, I'm very picky about how I roll my tarps. But it's a pretty easy process. I mean, the folding is pretty easy. Of course, it's a little bit different when you're by yourself. But I have my lovely assistant. So... She helps me fold my tarps and makes it a lot easier. Uh, but like I was saying earlier, um, I had the video kind of messed up. Now that I got the camera right. We are hauling a, a aluminum pipe. Uh, this is the last stop of five. Uh, it was a pretty tall load. I mean, it was, it was pretty tall. Uh, I wasn't able to record the other stops. It was just one of those in and out kind of deals. We had just had to go, 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 go. So we weren't able to record it. Uh, we still got our front tarp to pull off and roll. But I just want to kind of give you a guys an idea of how we do our thing over here and how me and my wife do our thing. Uh, for people who don't know, my wife does not drive. I do all the driving, but she helps me do stuff like this, and which makes it a lot easier. So we get in and out of our shippers and receivers a lot faster. Um, at this place, this place is called Sapa is where we pick this stuff up from. Uh, they make you put the plastic on top first, and then you put your tarps. Um, it, like I said, it was a really tall, tall load. And then when they took all the stops off, I removed my big tarp and put my two small tarps. So it's easier for us when we get here. And pretty easy, pretty easy load, not very heavy. Pretty easy to secure and strap. Uh, and then we got our own little dump truck that we're gonna dump this plastic in. And I actually just bought all brand new straps and I'm gonna ditch all these straps I've got and start all fresh for the new year. So it's gone. They're gonna go in the garbage as well. But pretty easy load. I uh, can't complain. Pretty, pretty simple. But what I'll do is, uh, I think what I'm gonna do. Man, excuse me. I know I'm not a great video taker here, uh, but this is this is what we deal with. Uh, I'm gonna get my wife to record me rolling my video, uh, roll my video, roll my tarp to kind of give you an idea of how I do my tarps. Everyone does their own differently, but this is how I do it. So let's just see if I can get her to do it. Let's go find out if she would do it. Here, record me rolling the tarp. Oh. 
keyboard. So YouTube, a lot of people, what they used to do, a lot of people, a lot of people do, is they actually take the end of the tarp on that end, or either end you want, and they take the end and they pull it along here and they take out the length of the tarp. Um, I used to do that, I'm not a big fan of doing it. I just like to throw the whole thing at one time to where I'm uncomfortable load, I just roll it out and let it roll out without having to pull the excess out. Especially how I roll my tarps, and I'll take. Let me grab some clothes. What I do is I take two bungees. So a lot of people like to use rope. I just use my bungees. Take the tarp. Put your bungees underneath it. Some people use one bungee. I use two. Pull it back over. Grab the two ends. And that's it. And then you grab it, go on top of the load on your truck, repeat the process for the other tarp, and that's it. And that's pretty much all we do. Pretty basic, pretty simple. Of course, uh, with my big tarps, it's a much larger tarp, so it's a much larger roll. I do things a little bit differently with the bigger tarps, but that's for another video, but those are my steel tarps. They're four, four foot drops, 20 foot long. And that's basically how I do it. Uh, so we're gonna grab this tarp off, fold it up, repeat the process, get all my straps off. And then uh, I might show y'all a tour of my headache rack. But stay tuned and we'll be right back. All right, YouTube. So I wanna do a, uh, basically this video is gonna get, it's, uh, we just got this tarp pulled off. Um, my watch gonna pull the plastic off real fast. I figured I'd get this video before the sun goes down. I'm gonna show y'all basically what I have in my headache rack, how I have it stacked, uh, what the stuff I use, you know, everything else. Uh, these are my two large lumber tarps I was talking about. I used to have them up there, um, but it's just it's easier to use. I use these less than I use my small ones. So I figure, you know, there's no reason to keep hoisting them up there, especially when they get wet and they're just really heavy. There's no reason to hurt my back, so I'll just I'll put them down here and they're kind of out of the way uh, but basically um, if you're going to start flat bedding at all a ladder is the greatest tool you'll ever have it's one of those tools that you don't use all the time but when you do use it it's a great thing to have uh, and basically what i did was i me and my uncle michael shot to michael uh, we drilled a hole here and we put eye bolt eyelets in here and one there and we went to the local hardware store. Uh, we went to Lowe's and bought these two uh, hanging mounts for ladders that are usually used for a garage. Drill holes one, two, three, and four, and just put bolts there, and it hangs there. Put this little one-inch strap, it's tight. This ladder ain't going nowhere. Uh, these are, uh, well, you you know, you get the point what those are. Um, so basically, excuse me if this thing's a mess. Uh, on this side, uh, this is my handy dandy little smoke tarp that I use. Um, been, I got this from a company called Dow Chemical. It's foam. This is the smoke tarp they wanted us to use. I've had this thing for over, see, over a year. It's been a great tool. Try to this side. Uh, these nasty looking things are my snow chains. 
Um, my buddy Randy's very familiar with snow chains. He has snow, he's had to chain a lot this year. I've had to chain up once this year, um, but they usually stay out there during the summertime just to give us some extra room. I take them off and leave them on my pickup truck. Um, these are all my ratchet binders for my, my chains. My snap binders are actually behind. These are my moving blankets. Uh, I roll these out uh, when I have a sharp edge material to protect my tarps. My tarps are not cheap at all. And I want to protect my tarps, so I bought these at Harbor Freight. And uh, they've been great. I couldn't ask for better moving tarps, or, or moving blankets as I call them, but uh, they've been great. Um, let me open this up here, give y'all a better view. Um, and then here's my other roll of moving blankets that I keep. Um, as you can see, this roll is a lot prettier than that roll. Those were actually frozen when I had to roll them, so they're just kind of junky looking. Uh, in that white bucket there, and I actually have another one right behind this one, uh, is chains, is all my chains. I used to have them just stacked on the floor. Uh, I decided to use, I got the bucket trick from someone else and decided to use it kind of make it a little bit neater. Uh, it actually worked well pretty good. Uh, jumper cables, uh, you never know when you're gonna need them. And these right here was an idea of my wife, uh, right there, smartest woman I know, person I know. Um, she actually got this, she got a huge piece of carpet for free. And she measured our straps and measured them four, they're basically four inches wide for our straps and she made them, you know, however long they are. And whenever we have areas where I can't get my edge protectors that won't fit, I use these. And I also use these on sharp, sharp edges that may also might cut through my moving blankets. I put these because they're really thick. Nothing's really gonna go through those. And I take them in place to protect my tarps. I have a whole slew of them. I just got a few here. Um, these are, uh, I call them edge protectors. Some people call them V-boards. They actually call them V-boards, um, but I call them edge protectors. Um, they are, uh, you put them on the load where you're gonna put a strap and it protects the edge or the corner of the product and it also will protect your straps. A lot of customers want edge protectors to protect their, especially on delicate stuff like foam, drywall, things of that nature. And as you can see, I have a whole slew. I have that much, that stack, and I also have this stack. And I still, when I, you can get them at Iowa 80, drop a 44. And I usually go, when I go there, I buy quite a few of them. Uh, all brand new bungees. I actually bought these yesterday at our main terminal in Springfield, Missouri. I got these, uh, stacked them up there because you never know when we need extra bungees. Um, this, shot to my buddy Randy. Randy Lewis, you check out his YouTube channel. Great dude very informational very knowledgeable he actually gave me this idea he has one of these it's actually if anybody's a fisherman knows this is a boat hook and um you're probably thinking what can you use a boat hook for on flatbed well uh you can hook your chain to it pull your chain through pull your strap through i've even been able to use it where i can push my edge pictures up it extends very very long so those tall loads or when you need to reach the other side of the trail and pull a strap through you can uh this is a, I have a spare CB antenna for my CB. Uh, my CB is my best friend. My CB never goes off in my truck. I'm very, very uh, particular in terms of my CB. So I always keep a backup antenna just in case if I need to, if, I, if something happens to my antenna or something like that. Um, these are my ratchet, ratchet straps for my four inch straps. I got I like a couple extra two inch straps up here. Uh, this is kind of a mess, I apologize. But um, it was kind of, it just started down for me yesterday and I just finally gave up on it. Um, these are actually basically the same concept as these, but these are for chains. So they're they're hard aluminum, and they're designed for your strap or not straps, but for your chains. And um, I mean, you could use these if you really wanted to, but you just bust right through them. Um, so we, we've got these for our chains, like for aluminum coils. If they got one change, but they want to protect the coil, also you use these. Uh, great, great tools to have. Um, I, I love them. I wouldn't give them up for anything. Um, these down here are, I, I must sound really stupid, I'm hurting the brain fart right now. I want to I want to say they're called cool pads. I've, to be honest with you, in my two years of flatbedding, I've used them once. Uh, but basically, you put them on the deck. Uh, usually, they prefer them running either across or long ways on the deck of the trailer. And they put the coils on top, and it keeps the coil or anything that's on top of that from moving because it causes friction. So it prevents it from moving. So we use those a lot. Uh, 
chopping this back up in here. Um, that's basically all I have in this headache rack, really. I mean, uh, I do have more chains, uh, but I took them off my pickup truck because I, over time I realized that, you know, I'm not using as many chains as I, that I have on this truck. So for extra weight, just took them off because I really don't use them. I actually have more ratchet binders and stuff like that, but I keep them, I also did those on the truck and I never used them. Um, but that's about it, man. I mean, that's basically what my headache rack consists of. Um, I'll jump down and I will show you my side box here. Um, this is where I keep all of my, my straps so I don't have to come up and down like you just saw me do. So all my straps are here. My, these are all my brand new straps I was telling you that I bought. I have 20 of these in there. Um, so I've got those. Uh, also in the back corner over here, I have my cables, my snow cables. Never used them, uh, but I have them there just in case the DOT wants to see them. I've got up in that far corner, if you can see it or not, I doubt you can. I have more of my two inch straps. Also in the back corner with my um, cables is all the ratchets for my two inch straps. I also keep all my oil and coolant and washer fluid in this side box up in the side there. Um, so that way, uh, you know, I always have it really fast access. Uh, I mean, that's about it, man. That's about pretty much how, what I've got. Oh, I, I almost forgot. Uh, on the outside of my headache rack, I have these. Uh, these are, uh, we call them dunnage, but they're basically four by fours. And these are your cool racks. You put those down to put coils in. I actually have, uh, I think, I want to say I have 10 of these. 10, I, I believe 10 to my, uh, but I, I have only eight dunnages. That's pretty much all we really need. Uh, Prime gives you four footers, but there was a time I had to buy eight foot and I just didn't want to buy them anymore. So I just got rid of my four foot and I carry eight foot all the time. Um, oh, and these lights here, best lights I've ever had. I actually bought them from Walmart and they have been amazing lights. They're crazy, crazy bright. I love them. They're awesome. Uh, and that's about it, man. I mean, I would show you this mess right here, but I don't think you want to see that. I keep more coolant, uh, my tools, uh, my craftsman set, I have ratchets, sockets, everything in there. Just I try to do all the repairs on my truck as I can. I have to go to the shop. Just I know it's not my truck, but it saves me time by fixing it myself. So I try to do it myself. Uh, I also carry a shovel. Uh, great tool to have. I've had to, I've had snow pile up on my trailer. I've actually scooped it off with the shovel. Uh, you know, and so it's really helped out. It's one of those tools like just at the ladder where you don't use it very often, but when you do have, when you do need it, you've got it and it's a great tool to have. Um, this, I need to get rid of this. This is actually what I, with that boat hook I was telling you about, this PVC pipe, it's a 10 foot piece of PVC pipe. And I basically cut notches on the end and it's basically what I used for my straps until I ran into Randy and he showed me that boat hook deal. So I'm gonna ditch that and use it on my boat hook. Uh, but that's basically my headache rack. That's basically what I carry, what, I, what my equipment consists of. Uh, my wife is patiently waiting for me to help her unstrap the load here. Uh, oh, this is, uh, you're probably wondering what this little doohickey thing is. Uh, this is what we use to roll our strap stuff with. Pretty easy tool, basic contact. You put the strap through here, you hold it, and you spin it, spins it up, makes it into a nice little pretty roll, and you put it away. Uh, so I got to get back to it and uh, swing it this thing on straps so we can hit the sack and get ready for another busy day tomorrow but thanks for watching guys don't forget to subscribe if you have any comments any questions don't uh, hesitate to comment and ask uh, if you have any suggestions uh, like i always tell you i'm willing to listen so i appreciate the subscribers i, pres I pre uh, appreciate the support and like always be safe and we'll catch you on the next trip